If you want to add some images or files to your database, you don't use a database. You have to use a storage bucket. So I'm going to show you how to do that with Superbase. Let's do it. All right. So right here, I already got a Next.js project set up. And over here, I've already got my Superbase project set up. If you want to know how to do that, watch this video right here. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to come in here. We're going to go to storage Let me make this a little bit larger and we're going to create a new bucket and you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it dank picks and you're going to want to make this a public bucket. We're going to add some rules so that it's a little bit more secure though. So we're going to save this and then we're going to click on policies and right here, dank picks, we're going to click new policy and then we're going to say for full customization. So there's a lot of stuff you can do for this. I'm going to just call this all and i'm going to say select insert update delete and we're just going to allow everyone to do anything if you want to watch a more in-depth video on this let me know and i can make one so we're just going to allow everything then we're going to click review and then we're going to save the policy so now our bucket is set up it's that simple so now we're going to come back over here we're going to open our website and we're going to add some code to add some images so right here i'm going to add an input and this is going to be of type file we're going to say multiple and then below this we're going to add a button that's going to say upload images and then we're going to add some styling to this we're going to say bg slate 600 a py of 2 a width of 40 and rounded of large and so now you can see we've got our ability to choose our files and then a button that says upload images this is not going to do anything and this right here, this looks very ugly. So we're going to make this look a little bit better. First thing we're going to do, we're going to say const and we're going to say image input ref. And we're going to say equals use ref. We need to import that from React. And this is of type HTML input element. And we set it to null. So now we can come here and we can say ref equals image input ref. And now we can add a button that says select images and then we can take this class name right here and we can add it right here and then we can also say on click and we're going to add a callback function this is going to say image input ref dot current question mark dot click and so now when we click this button select images it's going to pop it up and so now we can come to this input and we can say hidden and so now we don't have to see this stupid looking input. So now we're going to come here and we're going to say on change. We're going to add a function called handle image change. So we're going to come up here and we're going to say const handle image change. And we're going to create an arrow function. And this function is going to expect an event, which is of type change event. We're going to have to import that from React. And then we're going to say HTML input element and if you want to know how to get this type in typescript all you have to do is you come over here to this on change and instead of just passing in this function directly you come here and you put an e in here and then if you hover over this it tells you exactly the type so you can just copy that paste it in there so now we can come in this function and we can say if e dot target dot files then we're going to say const files array equals array dot from e dot target dot files and then we're going to say const new image urls equals files array dot map file and then from this file we're going to get url dot create object url and we're going to pass in the file and then we're going to set some state so we have to create some state with use state and we're going to call this image URLs and we're going to set this to an empty array. And then we need to come in here. We need to say string with these brackets to say that this is going to be an array where everything is a string because it's it's not able to infer that when you pass in just the brackets. So now we can come back to this function and we can say set image URLs and we're going to set it to dot 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 image URLs. So whatever the current image URLs are and then we're going to add in the new ones as well. And so now if we come down here, we can create a div. We're going to give this a class name. We're going to say flex and gap of four. And then we can say image URLs dot map. 
we're going to get the URL and the index. And then we're going to return an image, import this from next slash image. And then we're going to say key equals URL, source equals URL. We're just going to say width equals 300, and we'll do the same for height. And then we need an alt, and we will make this dynamic. We'll make this image dash index. So now when we select some images, these should show up. So now we can see we've got our images right here. So now we want to be able to upload these images to the storage bucket. So we're going to come to this button and we're going to say on click and then we're going to say handle click upload images button. So now we have to come up here. So we're going to say handle click upload images button. It's going to be an async function and we need to come up here and we're going to say use transition. And we're going to say const and inside brackets, we're gonna say is pending, and then we're gonna say start transition. And so we don't actually need to use this for the example that I'm setting up, but if we wanna to talk to our database, we're gonna to have to use a server action. So I'm gonna just set it up with the use transition because this is how I actually do it in the real world. If you aren't trying to communicate with the database, you don't need this. And you'll see why I'm using it in a second. So we're gonna come inside this upload image function, we're gonna say start transition, and we're gonna say async, Actually, now we can come up here, we can remove this async because this is async. And then we're gonna create a callback function and we're gonna say let URLs equals an empty array. And then we're gonna say for const URL of image URLs. And we're gonna say const image file equals await convert blob URL to file. And we're gonna pass in this URL and so I've already written this function, so I'm going to import it. And if we come over here and look at it, so basically when we select the images and then this saves the image I just selected to the image URLs, this just converts the quote unquote image URL to a file and we need a file. So you can just copy this code right here. The GitHub repo is also in the description. So now we can come back into this function and we can say, and we can say image URL comma error is going to equal await upload image. And we're going to write this function in a second. Inside of this function, it's going to expect a file, which is image file, and then also a bucket. And we're going to call this dank picks because that is what we called it earlier when we created the bucket in Superbase. And then after this, we can say if error, we're just going to console error the error and return and then i'm going to say urls.push image url and then down here i'm going to say console log the urls and then we're going to set the image urls to blank and so if you were actually doing this let's say a user is updating their profile or something they're updating their profile picture so we're going to upload the image to the storage bucket but then you also have to update the user with the new image url so that's why I use this use transition hook right here, because instead of this URLs.push image URL, what I would do is add this image URL to the user in the database. But for this, we're just going to keep it simple. So now we can write this upload image function. So we're going to come over here to this Superbase folder, and you can see we already have this client function, which I explained how to do in the other video. I also have these docs right here, which you just basically copy and paste this. And so once we do that, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this storage slash client dot TS. And so you can use both the client and the server for this. However, I would recommend using the client because if you use the server, then you have to pass all of the image data from the client, pass all that to the server and then send it to your storage. Instead, we can just go directly from the client to the storage. And if you use something like Vercel, they have limits on the amount of data that you can send from the client to the server. So I have found that it's always best to go directly from the client to storage. So we're going to come to this client.ts file. And we're going to say export function upload image. This is actually going to be an async function. And so we can come into this upload image and it's going to expect a file, a bucket, and a folder. And then we can pass in some props. We'll call this upload props. And so now we have to say type upload props equals, and this is gonna be this right here, a file of type file, 
a bucket of type string, folder of type string. And so now inside of this function, we're gonna say const file name equals file dot name. We're gonna say const file extension equals the file name. And we're just gonna get everything to the right of the final period. So like dot PNG or dot PDF or whatever. And then we're gonna say const path equals, and we're gonna say, if they pass in a folder, then it's gonna be the folder slash, and then we're gonna use a UUID. So we're gonna say, you can say PNPM add UUID or NPM I UUID. And then also to get the types, if you're using TypeScript, you're gonna use PNPM add, and I'm gonna say dash D, and I'm gonna say at types slash UUID. So once you do that, we can now import this UUID right here. So we're gonna say import UUID V4 as UUID from UUID. And this needs to be V4. And this should be UUID V4. And so you can do this however you want. How I have decided to do it is every single file that I upload, I just give it a random name using a UUID. So once we get the path, we're gonna create a try catch block and we're gonna say file equals await and we're going to say image compression and we're gonna pass in the file and then we're gonna say max size MB equals one. So we're gonna compress this. And this right here we get from browser image compression. So you just come down here and you just simply add this. So you say PMPM add browser image compression. And so now if someone on your app tries to upload like a two gigabyte file, this is gonna compress it so it's no larger than one megabyte. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do that because if people are uploading and viewing large, large files, that's gonna use up all your bandwidth and that they'll eventually charge you for that. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to compress these images. So right here with them, we're gonna say catch error and we're just gonna console error the error and we're gonna return, we're gonna return this object right here. So once we compress the image, we're gonna say const storage equals get storage. And so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna write a function called function get storage. And we're going to import this. So this is using, this is how we create our Superbase client right here. So you can import the database, the auth, there's a lot of things. So we're importing storage and I've just made this simple function, get storage. So now right here, we've got our storage. And so now we can say const data comma error equals await storage dot from bucket. And then we're gonna say dot upload the path and the file. And so if you wanna know all of the different methods available, the docs are right here and I've linked them in the description. So we're going to attempt to add it to the storage and then we're gonna say, if there's an error, return no image URL and this error message. Otherwise, we're gonna say const image URL equals, and it's going to be set equal to the next public Superbase URL, which you get when you create your Superbase project. And then it's gonna be slash storage, slash V1, slash object, slash public, and then the bucket, and then the data dot path. And then once we do this, we can just simply return the image URL with no error. So now we can come back over here and we can import this. So now this should work. First, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these is pendings. I'm gonna make these all disabled if this transition is pending, which means the images are being uploaded. So we're gonna add this to all of these. And then also right here, I'm gonna make this say is pending. It's gonna say uploading dot, dot, dot. Otherwise it's gonna say upload image. So now if we have done this correctly, we can select a couple of images and then we click upload images, uploading and boom. So now we can come over here to our bucket and we can now see that we have these three images that we just added. And so how you see these images, so if we come back over here, I log the URLs for all of these. So I'm gonna take one of them and we're just gonna add another image right here. We're gonna say source equals the name of this URL right here. And then we're also going to come right here and we're gonna paste 
this information, just change this to that. And so now it's showing the image that is in our storage bucket. And so what you would do is in your database for whatever user, you would save this right here with that user. And then so when you wanna see that image, you just create an image, source equals the URL of the image. And so also one thing you have to do to make this work, is you have to come into here to your next.config file and you have to add this code right here. You have to basically tell Next.js that it's okay to view things that come from this domain. So just copy this code right here and put it in. And so also if you wanna delete an image, I've added right here to the client file, this code right here, which I use to delete an image. So if you just wanna copy this code, the concepts are exactly the same. Instead of using storage dot from bucket upload we just do storage dot from bucket remove and then you pass in the path of all the files you want to remove so there it is if you learned something subscribe you want to learn some more watch this video right here see you next time